Here are five signs that you are stuck in a rut. Every day seems the same and you can't even remember what day of the week it is. You don't feel excited or inspired by anything. You're unmotivated. You feel unfulfilled. You want to make a change, but you're worried that it's gonna to be too hard to do and you think you know, you're just better off doing the same thing that you've always done. If that stuff resonates with you, the first thing you need to do is to not feel bad about it because we all go through periods like that throughout our lives. Now, it might feel never ending and like there's no way to get out of it, but you will. And if you use the 10 tips in this video, I guarantee you'll get there faster. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and this channel is dedicated to giving you all the advice and inspiration you need to dress well, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. Tip number one, very simple. You've got to accept the situation. Hey, I'm in a rut. I get it. I accept it. Now, let's figure out how to get out of it. For tip number two, I actually want to go back to one thing I mentioned in the intro, and that is don't feel bad if you find yourself in a rut. If you're feeling this way, the thoughts that come to mind might be like, well, you know, when I look at myself objectively, I've got a pretty good life, which then might make you think I shouldn't be feeling this way almost like you don't have a right to feel the way you feel. But you do have a right to feel this way. You feel how you feel for a reason. And if you're telling yourself you shouldn't feel this way, you're not going to make any progress. So what you need to do is to let go of that and really try to understand and get to the bottom of what is causing you to feel like you're in a rut. Identify the cause. Is it your romantic relationship? Is it your health? Is it your job? your family situation, your friendships, your hobbies. Take some time to figure this out because you need to know where to direct your energy. The next thing you want to do, tip number three, is to analyze your goals. And specifically, what we want to do is to kind of put things in perspective. You need to be honest with yourself about what it is you're hoping to achieve and whether that goal is reasonable. Personal example I use and that I've used before is, you know, let's say my goal is to be a professional basketball player. So. Let's step back and analyze that for a second. Well, I'm five feet nine inches tall. I'm almost 45 years old and I'm not really that great at basketball even if I practice. So my goal of being a professional basketball player is completely unreasonable. So instead of aiming to be a pro, I've got this basketball hoop in my driveway that I wanna use. I'm gonna try to be really good at shooting free throws and 10 and 15 footers. It's actually something I can achieve. It's more attainable. And that is what we're talking about here in terms of analyzing our goals and putting things in perspective. It's okay to dream big, but if you're dreaming too big and not being honest about what you can reasonably achieve, you're gonna keep dooming yourself to failure. Now, don't equate recalibrating your goals downward to failure or you know that you don't have potential. What you need to do in the short term is to create conditions that will promote success. Through those small successes, you're gonna gain some momentum, and that momentum will continue to carry you up, 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 and up out of your rut, and perhaps even get you closer to that bigger goal that you had originally. So once you've accepted that you're in a rut, identified the cause, and figured out where you wanna go, one of the things you might be tempted to do is to completely change up your routine. When you're in a rut, you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So it makes complete sense to think that making some really big changes to that routine is the key to getting out of the funk that you're in. In theory, it sounds great, but actually, that is the wrong way to approach it. Because if you make a lot of drastic changes at the same time to either habits or behaviors, that actually is going to very quickly create a lot more stress and anxiety for you and you'll feel overwhelmed and probably won't be able to commit to any of those changes. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't change up your routine, but what you should do is to make small changes to that routine. Choose one or two things and make those changes manageable you wanna be able to follow through with whatever change you make. One particular routine that I think is perfect to get into for this kind of situation when you're in a rut is a skincare routine. It checks a lot of boxes. It's a small change that makes a big impact on how you feel and see yourself. It's good for you, both short and long-term. It's very easy to get into and it is manageable. 
I know that skincare can sometimes seem like a challenge to get into. There's like so many different products. You're not sure what you should be using. Everything always runs out at different times and it's hard to keep everything stocked. And that is why I personally love and recommend Tiege Hanley, who I'm proud to partner with for today's video because they make the whole thing just super easy. If Tiege is new to you, they have many different products, but all you really need to get started is their basic plan, which includes a face cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF to protect your skin from the sun, and PM moisturizer for the important repair process that happens while you sleep. Older guys, like me, I'd recommend bumping up to Tiege's level three system, and that is going to add in a firming serum and an eye cream. I've used this stuff every day and every night for the past year and a half, and I can definitely tell you that I see and feel a difference. But let's get back to the part where I said it's easy. So when you get your box in the mail and open it up, it comes with a card. That card tells you what to do, when to do it, and how much of the product to use. And it gets even simpler because when you subscribe, you don't even have to think about going out to get more when you run out because it automatically comes to your door every month. Now, in addition to great skin, when you join Tiege, you get lots of perks as well, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, you can pause and cancel at any time, there are no hassle refunds, and there's free US shipping, as well as low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. All you gotta do is click the first link in the description, and you'll get Tiege Hanley for 30% off, and you can also choose a dop kit, hand towel or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift. So click that link to get started today. Since we're on the topic of taking care of yourself, for tip number five, what I want you to do is to think about self-care. Are you taking care of yourself? Like yourself, your actual self. Now, if you hear the term self-care and you're like, man, that's too Oprah, that's not me, I'm a man, I don't, I don't need to do that. Well, you do. You won't believe it until you try it, but trust me, it works. So what are some self-care things that you can do? Relax and don't think about anything, nothing, nothing at all. Download a meditation app and try one of the guided meditations. If you're working on something, take a break. If you're feeling burnt out, take a step back. Exercise, spend time with people you love. Make sure you're eating well and make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Oh, this next one, tip number six. It's tough. Of all the strategies I'm giving you in this video, this one will be the hardest for certain people because it deals with something that can often lead people to great success. And if you're this type of person, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you are a perfectionist, let go of that. And as a perfectionist myself, I know that that's difficult to do. You have high standards. You set high expectations for yourself. And if you don't meet them, you might tend to be a little hard on yourself. And you know, even if you do meet those expectations, you might immediately start thinking, well, how could I have done that even better? This is a vicious cycle of sabotage when you are in a rut. So instead of focusing on perfection and putting so much weight on that, turn that focus to just getting things done and putting forth your best effort. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do things to the best of your ability because if you're a perfectionist, the best of your ability, or even if you're not trying so hard, is generally gonna be a much higher standard than what the average person actually considers to be really great. So. It's okay to not be perfect. Now for tip number seven, this is one that sometimes gets a bad rap for potentially being reckless and risky, but there are two specific ways that being impulsive can benefit you if you find yourself in a rut. You know, when you're in a rut, it kind of has the effect of taking some of your confidence away. But if you go ahead and make a quick decision about something and stick to that decision, that will actually increase your confidence in your ability to get something done. And second, if you approach something in a new way, in a way that's more impulsive, meaning less thought going into it, it's gonna give you a different perspective. It's gonna give you some new insights and looking at something differently is a great way to get yourself out of a rut. Now remember that being impulsive doesn't mean being reckless. So instead of saying, you know what? I'm gonna be a base jumper starting tomorrow. Dial it back a little and maybe say yes to a date. Sign up for a cooking class. Visit someplace nearby you've never been before and don't make a plan before you go. Tip number eight is to go outside. Go for a walk, go for a bike ride, go for a jog, go to the park, do something outside and I guarantee you'll come back inspired. Tip number nine, let's talk about routines again because 
A routine is a good thing, but if you don't switch it up, things can get boring. And not only that, but what this does to your brain, well, what your brain does is it's used to this pattern. So it keeps applying the same strategies and processes to the problem. But that's not working. That's why you're in a rut. So what you need to do is to reset your brain. Start by not thinking. Let your mind wander. Again, tip number eight, go outside. Sit quietly, doodle, nap, watch some bad TV, whatever it takes to just get your mind off of and away from this rut thing. Now finally, tip number 10 is to realize that sometimes a rut isn't just a rut. It could be something else, something like depression. A rut is temporary and you'll eventually get out of it, but depression is something more serious and I would definitely get some support and get some help if you think you might be depressed. There's no shame in that. Having someone to talk to outside of your family and friends is really helpful. And I know that because I've personally done talk therapy in the past. It's extremely helpful to just unload everything. And one thing you gotta know though is, it's not like a quick thing where you do it just a handful of times and you're better. It's a process and like everything, it takes work and commitment, but it is so worth it. I think this is such an important topic and really wanna thank Teach Hanley for sponsoring this video and giving me this platform to put this information out there to you guys. So just a reminder, click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off Teach Hanley. And you'll also be able to choose a dop kit, hand towel, or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift with your first box.